Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from VitalCoaching.com and we are talking about vital sex and the topic for this video is uh, sexual rituals. When we talk about rituals, we are talking about adding a certain structure and a certain set of invocations, very clear intentions in the sex space. Uh, for most people, sex will simply be something that happens. You know, you are on this date with this beautiful uh, potential lover and you just engage and then there is passionate things you engage and then there is penetration and then that's it. Uh, there isn't much awareness or much distance that is taken from the sexual act and from the passionate embrace. You're not thinking necessarily too, too much about it. You're not abstracting yourself from it and kind of observing what's going on. You simply go for it because it's your passion and it's driven by instinct. So what I'm inviting here is to create a space that becomes a bit more sacred and a little bit more spiritual with a clear intention when you uh, engage into uh, a sexual exchange with, with your partner. And you can do that in many different ways. The first uh, step is to give a sacred dimension to the space. And you can do that by putting some candles around or by putting some incense. And then you can have some oils so that when you touch each other's body, you are really uh, bringing some you know, sacred oils into, into the practice. Um, you can also uh, do it with food. You know, one of the favorite uh, tantric ways to, uh, to, to connect energetically with that and make it like a ritual is to feed each other pieces of chocolate. So you can do that as well, but it can be fruit, it can be anything that is in the form of, of food that you bring into the, 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 the space and that is going to consciously enhance your, your sensual experience. Another way to uh, bring uh, magic and, and ritual into the space is to use consciously use mantras. So for instance, you could totally start um, a tantra or vital sex session with your partner by you know, bringing your hands together and you are there standing in front of each other and you close your eyes, that by itself is already a ritual, right? It's already something that adds a dimension of sacredness to what's going to, to happen between the two of you. And uh, so the, the mudras, the gestures, the eye contact, the fact that uh, you, know, you can put a little red mark on your, on your forehead or on your heart, uh, you know, there is all this dimension, absolutely everything that I'm having here around my neck, it's all rituals, it's all uh, aspects that, that give a certain intention to what I'm doing uh, right now and throughout the day. See that I'm wearing a little turban, there is a certain uh, way or, or elements that you can bring to your sexual session that is going to give us a dimension of sacredness. You see that behind me over there, you have what is called the the Sri Yantra, which is a, a symbol for, for, uh, for Tantra. And uh, yeah, you have other aspects or other uh, elements that you can bring to your environment that are going to create this sacred space. So you have, of course, you know what I already mentioned, the, the postures that you can use when you are in front of each other. That for instance, you can move in, in, uh, in circles when you are having intercourse, you can breathe together in very specific ways. All those elements are all part of rituals. Rituals are um, organized sequences or actions that you take to uh, generate a certain outcome, which is, in that case, uh, the unification of of energetic field so that you can dedicate that space to something which is much vaster than yourself. So, I mean, that's my own interpretation. That's how I define it. It is that you want to offer and dedicate the space of your tantric exchange or your sex exchange to the invisible, to the gods and goddesses out there, to the universe, to the planet and humankind, to something, to a purpose that is much vaster than yourself. And you can also dedicate it to just yourself, to just your family, to your own uh, satisfaction, it's okay. But the, the thing is that it's done in a very conscious way with a certain intention. The other aspect of a ritual is that very often it's not just one gesture or one point or one word. It's a sequence of actions that you take, an organized sequence of actions that you take to generate a certain state or a certain energetic connection. Okay? This topic is really uh, fascinating and very exciting to me. I hope that you are enjoying these videos. I want to say here a couple of words. Um, it is that right now all that is in free access. It's possible that some of these programs or some of this material will be in um, 
you know, in the form of a, a member only area when we start touching on more uh, sexual and more demonstrative practices. Right now it's me talking, right? So some of it is very soft uh, practice that I've been demonstrating with uh, different partners. Uh, but it's possible that we are going to, to create a member only area once we start touching on practices that are much more demonstrative. Um, another thing is that you can always go back to my site, vitalcoaching.com, and over there you will see the vast variety of, uh, of topics that I cover, not just vital sex, not just vital tantra, there is much more than, than that as well. And um, feel free also to, uh, to get in touch with questions. You can sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with me. We can always meet uh, via Skype, no matter where you are around the world. There is no limitation. So there is on my website, directly there, vitalcoaching.com. You will see that there is a link for uh, buying credits to have coaching with me. And uh, also, um, yeah, many more, more resources. There is also a schedule there that tells you where I am around the world and what kind of workshops you can come and attend with me. Hope this makes sense. There is much more to come. Exciting. See you soon.